P5 Audio demonstrates how to compose a Timbaland style beat within FL Studio. So I'm using FL Studio 9 once again. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to cut up some samples from the P5 Audio products. So what I'm going to do is use the synth lead line. And uh, let's play that, see what it sounds like. So I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, edit, and use the Edison um, sampler and Fruity Loops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a part I like and cut everything else out around it. I'm going to copy the notes that I had for the synth lead line, place them under the bass. So now the bass is going to complement the lead line that we've just made. So let's hear what it sounds like there. Pro Tools Videos explains how to unlock the multiple shortcut features of the Max Mighty Mouse. The only difference is instead of having two visible buttons on the Mighty Mouse, it has sensors underneath the, the single white shell at the top of the mouse that detects where your fingers are. And it figures out whether or not you're doing a right or left click based on where you press down on the shell. You want to go up to the Apple menu in the top left hand corner of your screen. And from the Apple menu, you want to select System Preferences. In the system preferences window, you've got a few rows and we want to go to the second row where it says keyboard and mouse. Once we're here, you see that we've got two pull down menus or drop down menus. One for the left, one for the right of the mouse. By default, both of these are set to primary button, which means that regardless of where you click, left or right on the mouse, you always get the same thing. Sounds for Samplers shows us how to quickly create mute groups for the MPC 500. See, I got my chops here. And I want to make it to where whenever I hit another pad, it will cut off whatever pad is playing. So once again, I want to be able to make it to when I hit a pad, when I hit another pad, it'll cut the first pad off. So how that's done is we go into mode and program, and that's going to take you to this screen here. Here. See what I'm saying? It's Anytime this is pressed, it'll just cut, or cut this hole open up. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed all these video tutorials and that they help your music creation skills. And for more music production tutorials like this, or to get in touch with any of our content producers, make sure you check out wingsound.com, where you can submit your questions via webcam by clicking submit, or you can also send them through text by writing to the content producer at wingsound.com. You can always keep in touch with the latest activity happening on wingsound.com by following us on Twitter. It's at wingsound. And remember, for more music production video tutorials like these, visit wingsound.com, the new social video network for audio creatives.